Hi, it's Evan from WCCF Tech and we're covering some exciting news about NVIDIA's new Ampere Workstation lineup. NVIDIA has launched two new entries into its Ampere Workstation lineup, the RTX A4500 20GB and the RTX A2012 GB graphics cards. Both cards are aimed at a different set of workloads and come equipped with the latest Ampere architecture for faster content creation, AI, and even scientific use cases. The NVIDIA RTX Ampere Workstation graphics card lineup now consists of six options that users can select from. The two new entries are positioned at the high-end and the entry-level segment. Starting with the NVIDIA RTX 4500, the graphics card rocks 7,168 CUDA cores on the GA102 GPU. The core count makes the Ampere GPU featured on the RTX A4500 the most cut-down workstation configuration of the GA102 GPU with just 66 active cores. Other specifications include 224 tensor units, 56 RT cores, and a core clock of up to 1.63 GHz. The card features 20 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory that operates across a 320 bit bus interface, providing the GPU with 640 gigabytes per second of bandwidth. The TDP of the card is rated at 200 watts. The card rocks four DisplayPort 1.4 outputs and comes with a dual slot configuration with an active cooling solution. Power is provided by a single 8 pin connector. NVIDIA also features an NVLink interconnect on the A4500 which allows for up to two cards to run in parallel with a combined memory of 40GB. In addition to the higher end option, NVIDIA also offered an upgraded variant of its RTX A2000 graphics card which now rocks twice the memory capacity. The rest of the specs remain the same as the original model, but the NVIDIA RTX A2000 features the Ampere GPU architecture. In terms of specifications, the RTX A2000 rocks the GA106 GPU, which is equipped with 3,328 CUDA cores, 104 Tensor cores, and 26 RT cores, all of which offer a nice performance bump over the previous generation. The memory is a 192 bit bus design for an effective 288 GB per second of total bandwidth. The RTX A2000 itself comes in a small form factor design featuring a half height and half length board. The card even has a small blower type fan on the shroud since this is a 70 watt TDP card. There are no power connectors. It's a simple plug and use card that offers great efficiency in a compact design. There are a total of four mini display ports near the rear panel IO shroud which also comes with a small vent to exhaust the heat out. But what do you think? Let us know in the comments down below and don't forget to subscribe for more fantastic tech news.